Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk you through my drugstore skincare favourites because even though now my skincare routine is kind of high end, mainly due to the fact that I worship at the altar of the goddess who is Caroline Hirons and everything that she recommends, I'm like, yep, I've been needing that in my routine. I've been a student, I've been there, done that, lived off of like £10 a week. I used to go on £5 nights out don't know how I did that. I do know that I didn't get taxis and I would just like walk home through town with my shoes in my hand and barefoot because I really didn't care. But I did go to Boots and a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you here is stuff that I used back in the day. Really loved, really enjoyed so it's like Anna approved type things. And I've kind of got a cohesive routine here. I'm going to start with like cleanser and end with like oils and moisturizers and stuff. And there's a few extra things to show you in between. And some of them I do still use in my routine now. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this. And this is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Vitamin C Brighten Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. And this is an almost full bottle because it is my third or fourth bottle of the stuff. This is what I travel with now as my travel cleanser. I don't like squeezing out my Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel into a pot. It just doesn't cut it for me. So instead I just pour some of this into like a little travel bottle and it's really good stuff. In fact, when I go away, I feel like my skin always comes back looking a little bit better and I think it's down to this. It's just so lovely to massage into your skin. You could use it as a makeup remover. Personally, I don't. I don't like kind of swilling makeup all over my face so I remove it before but I do use this as like my cleansing step and it really nourishes and leaves your skin feeling clean at the same time it smells incredible I cannot say enough good things about this in fact this range in general I think there's a few other bits kind of in my recommendations here because I think it's just one of the best things you can find in the drugstore skincare wise and they actually sell it in boots now I feel like facial sprays are a bit harder to find at the drugstore but I found this one I really love it I've used it before and when I run out of my Kate Somerville Nourish one which is the one I'm using at the moment I'll definitely be using this. It is the La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc and it is a zinc sulfate solution for oily blemish prone skin. Now I don't really have oily skin per se but it does have a tendency to get a little bit angry at me sometimes if I like switch something up in my routine or with the heating on or when it's really cold and I just find this really nice. I've got quite sensitive skin and I find that this kind of relieves any redness that I've got going on and just calms everything down. It's very soothing and it's like a constant kind of stream it's a nice mist it doesn't leave your face feeling like really super soggy afterwards it's just a very refreshing step but you kind of feel like it's doing something as well post spritz is the time in my routine where i would put an eye cream on and my favorite one that i've tried and i feel like i've tried quite a few but this one just wins hands down it's from again la roche posay in fact i think there is something else in this as well i think la roche posay is another really good like solid brand and anyone who comes to me with like acne kind of prone skin blemish prone skin I point them in the direction of the Epiclar range my friend Lauren used that loved it really cleared up her skin great stuff but this is the hydrophase intense rehydrating concentrate anti-eye bags anti-fatigue yes 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 that is exactly what I need now this is just a clear gel that would feel super incredible if you left it kind of in the fridge and put it on because it's very refreshing and very cooling when you apply it and sometimes I find with formulas like that you kind of put it on and then it gets a bit tacky and it dries down and you feel like you've got something a bit sticky and gross under your eyes but I don't find that to happen with this it's very cooling but at the same time very hydrating so I don't feel like it's kind of dehydrating the area and making it look like crepey and drier than before I feel like serums are Again, a really hard step to find in the aisles like Boots and Superdrug, but I've come across this one and I love it. I've used it kind of on off for the last like year or two. Again, it's from Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it is their Vitamin C Brighten Glow Boost Skin Serum. I actually just really like the Vitamin C Brighten range. I've tried basically everything from that line and everything would be Anna approved. I've really enjoyed it all, but I'd say that this is quite a standout. It's different to other serums that I use in the other serums are a bit more like silky and slippy and kind of have more of like a translucent texture to them where this comes out almost like a just a lotion a bit more moisturizy looking so I feel like if you had quite oily skin and you weren't really up for something that was too heavy on your skin and you didn't really fancy using a moisturizer maybe this would be a good step to use because you do get that hydration but in a very like light way now 
to the final step and depending on whether it's morning or night or how my skin's feeling I've got kind of different options for you here but the first one is if it's daytime I would stick on an SPF and I really enjoy the La Roche-Posay ones. There are so many to pick from it can actually get a bit overwhelming. <laughs> Just do a little bit of googling before you go there so you kind of know what one you're heading for and I have tried quite a few of them but I feel like this one is my favourite. It is the Anti Shine Anthelios XL Dry Touch Gel Cream. Now the reason why I like this is because it's got that whole gel cream texture going on. It feels really nourishing on the skin. It's not one of those ones that feels like powerful powdery or like dry once you blended it in you know sometimes they can dry down and you're like whoa I'm looking really matte right now this still leaves a nice kind of dewiness a nice glowiness to the skin but again SPF 50 which is amazing UVA and UVB protection and it's just a very comfortable cream to wear you don't really feel like you're wearing some kind of heavy like claggy SPF it's just very kind of normal moisturizer feeling on the skin if my skin's feeling really sensitive like sometimes if it's been windy or something and my skin just feels a bit like it's been slapped around the face a few times and it's a bit red and angry with me I pick up this this is from Aven and this is their Cycle Sical Fat Repair Cream. Absolutely no idea. It says for sensitive and irritated skins. Now this does have mineral oil in it, which is something to note in case your skin just doesn't jive with that very well. Personally, my skin it doesn't really mind, and I just put this if I'm having like a real dry patch. The other day I had like, was it a cold sore? It was just a really dry patch of skin around my mouth. It's when I was having my whole like wisdom tooth palaver and I was dribbling a lot in my sleep and I was having like a really dry kind of patch at the side of my mouth that it hurt to like open and close my mouth. Just popped a bit of this on it and my skin was drinking it up so I just kept reapplying it throughout the day and by the end of the day it was gone. So it's a really good thing for like dry skin, sensitive skin, whenever you're just feeling a bit red. Personally for me I find it a good moisturiser that I know isn't going to make things worse but it's going to help make things better. Now this is an old favourite that I picked up. It is from Olay and it is their Complete Everyday Sunshine Tinted Moisturising Cream and Sunless Tanner Glow. I have this in the shade Light. I saw this in Boots. I think it was on some kind of 3 for 2 when I was picking up other things. And I was like, yes, I used to use that back in the day all the time. When I used it though, I don't think it was called this and it had like a turquoise-y kind of lid to it. But I've given it a go and this is exactly the same formula, exactly how I remember it. It smells like holidays, you put it on your face, the next morning you wake up with like a real kind of sun-kissed glow. And I like the light one because it isn't too intense. I think they do a medium or a dark, can't remember what the other shade is called, but to me that's a bit like, whoa, full on the next morning. Then my final favourite is again from Super Facialist by Una Brennan and this is the Rose Hydrate Miracle Makeover Facial Oil. Now I feel like oils are a really hard thing to find on the high street, you kind of look at the back of the ingredients and you're like, mm, not really feeling this too much. This, on the other hand, is full of great stuff. It is really, really, really good. Now on the back, it says, Wonder Aromatherapy Blend to pre-cleanse and deeply nourish the skin. And in the directions, it says to put it on, kind of to remove your makeup and like get the cleansing process started. I have used it that way, but like I said, I don't like smooshing makeup all over my face. So I'd probably only use it for that step if I was having a makeup free day because then I would use this as like my first cleanse and then something like the Oscar or the other Una Brennan facial oil as like my second cleanse. But I actually really like this as an overnight oil just to put on your face. It smells incredible. It smells oh, like spas. It smells really luxurious. I do have a feeling this is around 15-ish pounds, but considering that the other facial oil that I like is like 50 quid, then this is a really, really good deal. So that concludes my little edit of my favourite skincare products from the drugstore, but I hope you enjoyed that. And students out there, I feel you because I remember by this time of year, my September student loan had practically all gone and I was living off of like zero <laughs> till January. But January will come soon and it's always a great moment and I used to go crazy in Space NK which was very, very naughty indeed. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you a bit of inspiration for next time you're in Boots and Superdrug and I'll see you soon. Bye!